Hi everyone. Um, this is a third part to my thrift haul. Um, somehow it got erased, so my stuff's all jumbled up. I'm sorry, but um, I'll try to explain it as much as I can. Um, so um, I'm sorry if there's any noises, any distractions, and I'll try not to move the camera too much. I mean, my phone too much. Um, and I will go slow so it's not too blurry. That's why I have to have so many parts. I'm sorry. I can only record 15 minutes at a time. And um, so now this is what I'm going to show you. Not too much. Just a little bit here and there. Um, so this is an accumulation of three toy bags. Um, like I said, it got mixed up. So I can't tell you which was it in individually. And it's each individual bag. Um, I can tell you one big item that was in each bag, but the other stuff, I, it's all mixed up. But there was about four or five items per bag. Okay, so let's get started. Now this, I knew this was in a bag, but I didn't know it was in a bag, so I only saw the edge and I knew it was vintage, but I was like, well, if I like it, that's an extra, but it wasn't what I got the bag for. But this is a 19, I want to say 50s. Um, game and it is in very very good condition and actually it was made in a town I used to live in a long long time ago so that was kind of cool too but so it's got chess pieces and checker pieces and these two little cute little containers you don't see that much anymore now and a cute little board now and it does have instructions for chess and I don't know how to play chess so that's good um, I think this is so cute, even for a decor item with the chess pieces, even if when I'm not playing. So, yeah, that was awesome. Oh, and each of these bags was $1.99. So, I think it's well worth what I got. Um, this is another item in one of the bags. This is a puzzle tin, and it has a puzzle brand new in it. It's still got a little tag, but, um, I don't know how much it costs. Um... I don't know if they sell this at the dollar store. I don't think so. Maybe three or four dollars. So that's a good buy. Um, then got this. I got one of the bags for this um, because this is um, um, a tic tac toe board. It's felt. Um, they don't stick to the felt piece, but that's okay. It looks like it's all here, and it comes in a nifty little plastic container. That's awesome. Next, in one of the bags came just, you know, sometimes you get things you don't really care about. So there's a deck of cards. You might keep them crayons, you know, let the kids do whatever they want to with those. Um, cards, I don't know about those. Now, this was a brand new deck of cards. Now, this is from Puerto Rico. Um, I, I mean, it says Puerto Rico, so... Um, yeah, it's got, it's probably not from Puerto Rico, but it's got uh, pictures of Puerto Rico. Um, I opened this up. It was brand new, still in plastic wrap. And it's got some beautiful pictures, but, um, I don't want to waste some time with that. Um, also, I uh, got this tin, uh, 50 pieces. It's a smaller tin, like the size of a um, mint tin. Um, I do not know if all the pieces are there, but, um, I do have a couple craft projects I want to do with um, with puzzle pieces. So if they aren't all there, I'm going to use the puzzle piece for my craft project. This is one item that um, I had I wanted for the bag for. Um, it says one tough puzzle. Now I love logical things, and it just looked interesting. And then when I opened it up. Um, comes in this very hard to see because it's gray um but there's nine pieces in here they're all there now there's a little bit of damage to it but it's not too bad all the pieces are still you know together like um so it is a lot of wasted um space it's like the box comes up to this so it's half wasted space but it's a cute box um if you know it's a nice box but i want to you know, paint it or do something to it, but it might be another day. Um, this was in one of the boxes, uh, bags, I mean. Um, it is a unicorn. 
Now, unicorns are so popular right now, and I've even gotten on the unicorn bandwagon. Sorry about my finger. And the only thing I don't like is it does come with everything. It hasn't been opened. But the horn matches the unicorn. So I think that's kind of dorky. So I might see if I can find some yellow pieces like this. Or maybe some seed beads or something to put in there. Um, and so that the horn is a different color than the body. So yeah, that is a cool project for my daughter. And then this I thought was vintage, but ugh, not really. Um, I think it's 1990. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 2006. I don't know if you can read that. 2006. So, it's 11 years old. But it's a cute little toy, and I think my boy or, you know, the older two will, you know, get a kick out of that. Next, I bought one of the bags for this. Now, yes, it is cracked, so I might have to do something about that. Um, This is one of those toys that you know, I don't know if they still sell these. I know they've um, replaced them with plastic. And I know back in the day, these metal things used to bend all the time. And then, of course, the plastic ones are just cheapy and the plastic breaks off. But I just thought this is so cool. I wanted one of these for a while. So, And um, I may put this into a box for sensory. Um, I've been seeing a lot of sensory stuff and... I found a lot of sensory items and, you know, may do videos on that if I ever do a, um, a box on sensory items. And then, last couple items, this, 2,000 stickers. Now, there are some stickers missing, but just a handful. So, you know, like on this page, there's one sticker missing. On this page, there's one sticker missing. Basically, it's like, you know, oh, way to go and all that. But I'm going to use these. Um, trying to do, you know, maybe tour chart for myself. Yeah, I know. And it's silly, silly, silly. But, you know, hey, use the stickers somehow. But Or maybe for the kids in the future. I don't know. But we'll see. But, yeah, that's kind of cool. Last but not least of this, these bags. Got this thing of baseball cards now i looked them up and they're all worth maybe a buck a piece um and um i'm probably just gonna give these to a kid down the street we don't do sports so you know yeah it's not for us okay guys um this is the last three items of my haul and my last bit of my haul i know it's long and i'm sorry um i don't like to rush things and in the past, I have rushed things, and so my videos might have not been as best quality as they could have been. So, please just bear with me. Um, so, these were in a bag for a dollar. And I don't exactly know what they are. They could be cookie cutters. They could be stuff for crafts. They're very nice. Very nice. And basically, you just press this to get the item out. So... I was thinking this could be used for Play-Doh, could be used for making candy or soaps or, or cookies. I don't know yet. Um, I might even try to use this indentation on some paper, um, like a die cut, maybe. I don't know. I'm kind of creative like that, so three, four dollars, not too bad. I've seen this, and I mean, it's... I'm not really into a decapitated bunny head. An Easter, yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's for God, but it's for Jesus. But it, this is kind of cute, and I thought I could find some use for it. Now, these are brads connected to these pieces. It's all metal, and it's just so beautiful. Um, I don't know. Let's see how old this is. Um... Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't... Oh, 2006. Sorry, 2006. So this is 11 years old. But it looks... It's it's still in the package. Um, So it's a blessing whoever decided to donate it. Um, 
Wow. I'm sorry, my focus is just going stupid. And it just seems to get dark. Um, there, I shed some light on the situation. Now there's going to be shading. I am so sorry. Okay, so these are brads. Um, now there's two um, big pieces for each design. So we have two baskets, two Easter's, and two bunnies. Now the brads, to connect them to the paper, is the bow, the eggs, the flower, the flower, the eyes, the nose, and the bow. Now, yeah, I could probably interchange these things if I wanted. No. Excuse me. I've been drinking some soda. Soda or pop or cola or Pepsi, whatever you want to call it, wherever you live. Um, so, yeah, and they have the extra pieces right here. So that is just plain awesome. So I may do a page just all on Easter, you know, um, the Easter theme. I just don't know yet. I just take it as I take it. Um, I'm doing, I call it a junk journal uh, or scrap journal or whatever. Throwing things that look good to me together. I do not do it the normal way. Um, like, you know, the themes or whatever they call them. I can't remember the right word. Um, I do not use string. I do not use... Um, I do not use string and I do not use sewing. I, I That's just too much for me. <laughs> um, basically, I take a page from a note. I, I have a notebook right now. It's my very first one that I'm working on. And I, <laughs> I just paste pictures, sheets, whatever, onto it that I like to use up my scraps, junk, whatever. But it isn't really junk unless it's junk to other people. Now this... I don't know if you can see. It's kind of hard. Um, pretty big. Um, I want to say it's a size of scrapbook uh, paper. Um, I don't know where my scrapbook paper is right now. This is like $3, I'm going to say. it's. It has a little bit of discoloration, but it's not bad at all. I might have to glue this little part up here but that's nothing um i didn't really have anything for my big big things like my calendars i do use calendars for scrapbooking um my scrapbook paper which i have like one pad <laughs> i'm so broke um yeah i know and i just spent all this money um but yeah and you know magazines and so forth i use old magazines which i have a whole bunch of um and cut them up and so forth um just a little thing. I'm not going to be having any more hauls after these ones go up. Um, I'm going on a no buy for September. It's a challenge for my husband, and I might go into that more. Um, so you have a wonderful day. Um, please like, please subscribe, nice comment, um, ring the bell, and you have a wonderful day. And as I said before, my heart and my prayers go out to those in Texas. Um, and of course, to any of those who are dealing with troubles in their life, no matter if it's weather or just plain life situations, I know how it is. Um, you know, the rain's blowing down on my life right now. So um, have a good day, a good year, um, everything. And please come back. Um, binge on my videos. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.